Hi, this is Lonya, and I'm going to be commentating another game from Boo, played on the ladder. So this is just another replay he sent me, and we've got a Zerg versus Zerg again on Metalopolis. So I've already done one of these, it was the third game. And in that game, I kind of didn't really know much about Zerg versus Zerg, so there's a few things that I kind of said or missed or didn't pick up on. So I'm going to kind of go over them a bit at the moment now. So if you haven't watched that game, there might be a few spoilers there. Um, so basically in that game, I kind of said Boo wasn't doing very well at Creep Spread, but then afterwards I kind of chatted to him on IRC and he said that that was kind of intentional. And at the moment, sorry, both players just going kind of standard, not getting anything particularly special at this point, no kind of early rush. And so he didn't get any Creep Spread, and basically in Zerg versus Zerg, you can either go kind of with air units like the Mutalisks, or you can kind of go for kind of ground force if you kind of want to try against that and get some Hydralisks to go up against the Mutalisks. So we saw both players in that game go for a mainly air-based army at the start, so they both had quite a lot of Mutalisks. And Boo stuck with the Mutalisk build, so he didn't really need any creep because it wouldn't benefit his air units since it doesn't increase their movement speed. Well, his opponent ended up getting Hydralisks after all his Mutalisks had been killed. So we saw the lack of creep from Boo basically giving him a giant advantage because when those Hydralis did come in and try and do some attacking they weren't able to do anything whatsoever successfully because Boo had no creep around all his bases and the Hydralisks they were just too slow against basically anything. And we can see here Nostalgia's got his pool one drone later than Boo so it's um, 13 pool against 14 pool so it's not going to be too much difference and neither of them have scattered each other yet they just know that they're kind of not in these close air positions. So and neither of them are sending out drone scouts, so they're just going to slowly kind of scout the other way. Um, so basically, if you're sticking with an air build like the Mutalisks, then there's not really a huge amount of need to get any creep because it's not going to give you a particular advantage, and it's going to hinder your opponent because obviously your own creep works to help give your opponent speed up when he's on coming to try and attack your base. So kind of the poor creep spread. It was a good idea, and apparently he does that kind of most so versus their games because it's not really going to hinder him, and it's going to hinder his opponent. So kind of, especially if he goes air. So we'll have to see if he decides to go air in this game, and what his opponent does, whether he goes air as well. And we just got a drone scout coming out now, so Nostalgia's going to know exactly where Boo is. He's going to know his cross positions without needing to scout that out, and he's going to know from the fact that there's not been a scout sent into his base, or he's going to be able to assume from the lack of an early scout that Boo's not going for anything particularly funny. So we see a Roach one coming out, coming from Nostalgia, and that's useful to protect against any Banelings that might be coming in from the opponent, because obviously in the early game you're probably going to see some Zerglings, maybe some Banelings, and some Roaches, and we've got a Roach one also coming up here for Boo. And just take the unit cannon station, so we've got one Queen out for Boo from that slightly earlier pool, and a Queen now for Nostalgia, and we've got a few Zerglings out for Boo, so he's going to be able to kill this scouting drone fairly quickly and he's just sending a couple, few zerglings up to try and scout the base of Nostalgia up the top and yep he's got one in the base and the Queen is just kind of chasing it away a bit so we can see Boo's lost an Overlord to the Queen, I think I must have missed that so I'm presuming that he managed to lose an Overlord to that Queen and you can just see at the moment he's trying to take down some drones and I'm not sure he's managed to take any down uh, but he lost I think only one Zergling there and the rest of us is just slightly damaged <laughs> and now he's complaining about how probably Zerglings are taking down this drone so he's definitely in there trying to do a bit of damage but he's not managed to put anything off so far and we've got a couple of roaches out now for Nostalgia so Zerglings aren't going to be able to do too much if he does try and push them again yep and we just see the roaches take down the Zerglings so we've got quite a few roaches on the way now for Boo and a few out already from Nostalgia and it's just both players getting down their expansion hatcheries now which is kind of fairly standard, especially when they're this far away from each other. And they're just getting a bit of gas, getting those roaches out, and just kind of sitting around waiting to do a bit of an attack. And with these cross positions, air is going to be pretty useful, so I would expect to see at least one of them going air, because obviously there's a long distance between the two bases, and they'll be able to kind of macro up pretty well, so we might be in for, so we'll probably be in for a kind of fairly long game. It's not going to end kind of particularly quickly. Neither player going for a baneling nest, and we've basically got almost completely even armies at the moment. We've got 7 roaches against 7 roaches, 18 drones against 18 drones, and just a queen for each. And at the moment they're still just macroing up, so we'll have to see when they decide to push out. And obviously, since it's Zerg versus Zerg, they've got no anti-air at this point apart from their queen, so they're just able to keep an overlord in and then be able to see exactly what each other's doing. They've both still got the exact same army composition, 10 roaches. Boo's slightly ahead on drones at the moment, but that'll probably even up in a minute. Um,
just need to keep remembering to switch between all these tabs. So we've got even more roaches coming out now for Nostalgia, and some more again for Boo. And at the moment, neither player is doing anything particularly special, but we see Nostalgia moving out with these roaches, so he might try and put some pressure on the front door of Boo, who, and neither player's got any kind of spine crawlers down or anything for any static defence, so it's just going to be a roach on roach battle, and it'll be a question of seeing who can micro the best. And at the moment, if Nostalgia sends in these roaches just on their own, then he might not be able to do very well and he might lose quite a lot of roaches. So we've got a lot of roaches out now for Boo and just these roaches being caught slightly out of position of Nostalgia and now we've just got Roach on Roach and Boo coming out just with that one kill. That was slightly ahead and he's got a lot more roaches at the moment than Nostalgia. So he might want to send some roaches up around here. Yep, and it looks like he's going to send his roaches up the top, which I'm not sure it's any quicker, but he might be able to catch some of the Nostalgia's roaches in the back if he manages to catch up. Yep, we get a couple more hits off and not able to do too much damage but he is able to hold off that pressure and now Boo's just slightly falling behind on the drone count but he is getting his lair up and if we check over here we've got the lair coming up now for Nostalgia but it's quite a bit later so Boo's going to be able to probably get some Mutalisks out and he'll probably start producing some Mutalisks I'd expect when he gets a Spire up once his lair is complete and then we'll have to see whether Nostalgia decides to respond by getting his own lair and trying to get some slightly later Mutalisks or whether he decides to go for any kind of ground army with some Hydralisk which is Slightly riskier because now he's getting some static defense in the front door, so he's getting a spine crawl up. So the Hydra Lisks, obviously, they're a lot slower. You can't really put on any kind of pressure on your opponent, especially with these long distances. So they'll probably both be going Mutalisks when the layers do complete. And oh, we got a Hydra List then, in fact, from Boo, so that's a bit of a surprise. I would have expected to see a Spire because um, in the last game we saw him really effectively using Mutalisks along with some Queens, getting a lot of transfusion off to keep those Mutalisks alive against the opponent in that game and he managed to basically come ahead so despite having few mu less Mutalisks in basically most of the battles he came out ahead because he just transfused, ran back to his base, healed up and we've got a Spa coming out for Nostalgia so it's going to be Hydralisk Roach from Boo against those Roaches that are already out and we've still got quite a lot and some Mutalisks from Nostalgia so it'll be interesting to see whether Boo decides to spread any creep this time now that he's going for a Ground Army on his side against the Air Army on Nostalgia's side. So we've got some static defence up here along with those roaches which we'll be able to hold off any pressure that Boo decides to try and put on. And if we check the army count, we've got 18 roaches out now. We've got an overseer morphing for Boo, so that's going to give him some faster scanning information. And we've got the spire on and just half complete for Nostalgia. And just check where... yep, so sorry. We've got an infestation pit, so it looks like he's going to get some Infestors along with those Hydras, because the Infestors can use Fungal Growth on the Mutalisks, kind of trap them, do a bit of damage, and just hold them in position so that those slow Hydralisks will be able to do quite a lot of damage. And neither player is doing a huge amount at the moment in terms of spreading creep, so that's really not going to be particularly beneficial for Boo, although it does look like he's using his overlords to spawn creep now that he's got that layer up. Neither player deciding, oh sorry, I was just about to say neither player deciding to get a third, but sorry, Boo's just got his third up, so he's going to try and get a better economy going. If we just check the income tab, we've got 43 against 40 harvesters, so it's fairly close on the harvester count for both players, but with that third base, Boo should be able to get some more gases up later on when he needs it. And we'll have to see. So we got armor for the Mutalisks coming out now, and I'll just check here. So it doesn't look like Nostalgia knows what Boo's getting at the moment, and so just